Thank you for watching Back Porch Wisdom with Pastor Rob Wynn. We pray that this weekly broadcast will be a blessing to you. And now here is Pastor Rob Wynn with today's message. Uh, this is Pastor Rob Wynn from Cornerstone Church in Linden, Alabama. I want to welcome you to Back Porch Wisdom today. And we're on the message of faith. And actually talking from a standpoint of faith is precious, or you could say faith is valuable. And actually my text is taken out of 2 Peter chapter 1, uh, verse 1, where Peter says it like this. Simon Peter, a bondservant and apostle of Jesus Christ to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. And so that word precious there actually means valuable. And we talked about it from the standpoint of faith actually comes from the Father. And we've substantiated that by the scriptures in John 5 19 where Jesus said he couldn't do anything of himself that what he saw the Father do he did and then in John 5 30 he talked about he didn't do anything on his own but as the Father as he heard the Father he he made judgments and then John 5 18 same, same thing except he said that the Father taught him and so we know that God he got his faith from the Father and so when Jesus came born of a virgin, he lived a sinless life, he died an atoning death, and God raised him from the dead to come to, be, to earth to be the man that would author faith in the heart of all mankind, not just to, to be the savior of their sins, but once they got born again, he's authoring faith or he's writing faith on your heart and your mind by the Word of God, just as the Father did for him. You know, in, in uh, Psalms 40, Jesus said he found himself in the volume of the book. And it was his purpose or his objective to do the will of God. And so Jesus says, uh, according to uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 it says looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith or the perfecter of our faith and we've gotten to the point where we're talking about Jesus perfecting faith on the inside of you and there's some things we've talked about that would be hindrances uh, would cause Jesus not to be able to perfect faith in you or mature you in faith to cause you to be a mature Christian in Christ Jesus. And the verse before uh, verse 2 in Hebrews 12, the, uh, about the B part of the verse, it says, it's Hebrews 12, 1, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily ensnare us, and let us run with endurance the race that lies before us. And so we want to key in on their weights and there is sin that the Apostle Paul says is easily setting us back. And so we don't want that to happen. The, when it's, it talks about it from a standpoint, let us throw off every weight, it's talking about a violent action. It, it's talking about a, an aggressive method of getting rid of anything that weighs you down and anything that would hinder you from Jesus perfecting you in faith. Because to me, uh, there's, not, there's too much looking at the world and not enough of looking at Jesus. And uh, we've got, in other words, there's, there's too much worldly, worldliness and not enough of us Positioning ourselves, I like the word let. The word let means to position yourself under the spout where the glory comes out. And it means once you get there to allow Jesus to do His work on your heart and on your mind. 
And so John in chapter uh, 3 of John and verse 30, John the Baptist said, he must increase. In other words, Jesus must increase and I must decrease. And so the sin, there is a sin to worldliness. And, and really part of it, it could just be not necessarily a sin of commission, but a sin of omission, where anything that's not of faith is sin. And so we want to press like Paul did in Philippians chapter uh, 3, I believe, 3 or 4. He said, I press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And so we need to learn to be people who press through the things of the world. In other words, sometimes what we think is godly isn't really godly. Because in, in uh, Isaiah 55, I think it starts in about verse 8, he says, My ways are not your ways, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. And so, and then he points to the Word of God. And he says that the Word of God, it never comes back void. Everything it's sent to do, it accomplishes. And all it really needs to have is your cooperation. It is so important that you cooperate with God. Find a good church to go to. And I don't mean one where the preacher, he's just a, he can speak good. Because it's not the, the ability to, to speak well, it is the message that counts. And here's how you know that. In Romans 10, verse uh, 17, the Apostle Paul said, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the message of God, or the message of Christ. And so, the Bible doesn't change. For instance, in the book of uh, Acts, which is the beginning of the, the fulfillment of the Great Commission, Jesus Christ is standing here. He has told everybody to go to the upper room. 74, 76% of the people didn't go. 120 people did go. And He's standing there. And he says, O Theophilus, of all that uh, Jesus has begun to, both to do and to teach. And then, he, and then he says, he's going to give you power so that you can go and do it with him. And so I want you to find a church. If you go on rhma.org, there's a dialogue box on the homepage. And within it, it says, find a church. You can find a church in your area that resembles the book of Acts. And, and you know why the book of Acts, why miracles and signs and wonders are right? is because God does not change. What He was doing yesterday, He'll do today. What He's doing today, He'll do forever. And so, I want us to pray real quick. If you've not got Jesus in your heart or you're backslidden, pray this prayer with me. Say this with me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus is Lord and that You raised Him from the dead to save me and make me Your child. I believe that with my heart and I have said it with my mouth. I am now righteous before You because of Jesus Christ being inside of me. And so, you can go on Cornerstone Church, the number four, the letter U dot com, and you can find out our tenets of faith or what we believe. And we have scriptures at every point so that you know that it's biblical, that it's from, it is divine inspiration. And so I want to thank you for checking in to uh, Back Porch Wisdom today. God bless you and have a good day. If you're ever in the Linden, Alabama area, we invite you to worship with us at Cornerstone Church. 
For more information and other resources, visit our website at cornerstonechurchforyou.com.